The actions of one man in the late 60s were set to change the course of the elite game and its players forever, paving the way for the professionals of today. He started playing league for nothing for Belmain and they had him for oh, a number of years, I don't know, three, four, five years, playing for nothing as an amateur. And suddenly he wanted to make some money by going to Penrith, who were the new club at the time. And uh, they had uh, full pockets and he wanted some of that, which is fair enough. And they stood in his way, banned his transfer. And uh, he took them on and he, was, he had no money. Yeah, well, Dennis Tuddy was putting his hand up and basically saying football is my prime and should be my prime profession. I am, you know, I want to exercise industrial muscle, not from a part-time perspective, but from potentially a full-time perspective. So Dennis, um, some people might not know, um, uh, had played for Australia, I think as a teenager. Um, the two years before he commenced his case, he'd been the Bowman Player of the Year. And um, as a matter of principle, he stood out of the game for a couple of years and, um, and took the Bowman Club and the New South Wales Rugby League to court on a matter of principle. I just thought I should have been rewarded a little bit differently for the efforts that I was putting in. But because I was a local junior, um, I had to do what I was told to do. Or, I, I, well, as he said, he said, if you don't play rugby league with us, he said, you don't play rugby league at all. You know, and I said, well, it's not right. You know, and they wouldn't give me an increase in payments. So I had to play for them under their, their rules. And then I kept asking for transfer at the end of the next season and they wouldn't give me one. So I decided to stand out and along with Arthur Beetson and Peter Jones uh, for the start of the season, but we ended up going back and playing, but I continued on with it. In the dressing room, second row, Dennis Tutty has a leg massage to loosen muscles. So too, Arthur Beetson, at 15 stone nine, Balmain's heaviest player. It was a big case and, and it went on and on because they, they um, they objected the, the NRL, the, the Australian Rugby League uh, took them, went back and uh, appealed against the decision and, and all that sort of stuff. And and then eventually uh, they eventually he won it, Dennis, and uh, and we all said good on you. It, it made them all free agents. Once their contract was finished, they were free agents, and they could go where they wanted to go. And as it should be, I think. I think that's a that's one of the good things that the that the, the um, the, the court ruled on. While he was away from the game, um, the Balmain team that he was playing in won a competition. They hadn't, they hadn't won for 20 odd years beforehand and never won again. So that was a massive sacrifice for him. He never played for Australia again. But um, no, it was just so hard to have to challenge him, but I was just determined sort of to do it. And it's the way I was brought up. So. Dennis made incredible sacrifices, which are still being realised today for the benefit of um, not just rugby league players, but sportsmen generally. But what he did was that he unlocked um, proper remuneration um, for rugby league players everywhere. And the benefits that they're getting today um, are, are pretty much down to Dennis Tutty. So he did it by himself. He did it without support of any players association. and. Um, what the Players Association, what the existence of that does now is that it makes sure that never again in the future will someone like Dennis Tuddy have to sacrifice his own career for the greater good and that can only be a good thing. It makes me feel really good, but <laughs> it's a bit emotional, but um, yeah, um, I, I'm just... I'm just disappointed that I never got to be a full-time professional rugby league player and that was one of the things I'd like love to have become, like the players today. And them being able to do it is fantastic, you know, for me.